For this problem, we're looking at the limit as x goes to infinity, so this would be another end behavior, end behavior to the right side, um, of a function that is the ratio of some exponential functions um, that are added and subtracted on the top and just a single exponential function on the bottom. Uh, the one thing to uh, notice is that the uh, second term on the top has a negative x as its exponent. So just remember that a negative um, exponent just means that we're pushing this to the bottom. So really we could be looking at something like the limit as x goes to infinity of 2 to the x minus 1 over 4 to the x all over 3 to the x. If you have a little bit of trouble thinking in negative exponents, that's what we're really looking at. So take a look at what's happening before, um, before we do any sort of other algebraic manipulation. Um, these exponential functions uh, look like this. Each one of these that are involved in this look like this, exponential growth, because that's what y equals b to the x looks like whenever uh, b is greater than 1. And so we have those bases um, that are floating throughout, the base 2, the base 4, and the base 3 floating throughout. And so what we're saying is as x goes off to infinity, we're looking here at the right end arrow, and we see that each one of those is going to go off to infinity, but be careful. Um, because we've got the, one of them that happens to be in the in the bottom. So see, 2 to the x is going to go off to infinity. The 4 to the x will go off to infinity, but remember that would be like in the bottom there. It would go off to infinity. And then the 3 to the x and the denominator of the whole thing would also go off to infinity. So really what we're looking at for this setup is an infinity minus 0 over infinity, um, because the the reciprocal really of infinity there would be zero. Um, dividing by infinity would mean the, that fraction is zero. So we are in fact looking at an indeterminate form, um, infinity over infinity. So we are going to need a little bit of algebra here to fix our situation. So the algebra that you do on all of these sorts of problems where you have various exponential functions that are perhaps added and subtracted, um, and we've got a pretty nice one, just a single exponential function with no addition and subtraction on the bottom. So the sort of algebra that would really be helpful here is uh, what I like to say distribute the denominator. And so what we could be looking at here is 2 to the x over 3 to the x minus 4 to the negative um, x over 3 to the x. So that's distributing that denominator across the subtraction sign in the top. Um, it's exactly like if we were to think about the dividing by 3 to the x as like a multiplying by 1 over 3 to the x that we would then distribute across subtraction. So splitting it up this way allows us to uh, use some exponent rules to rewrite each one of these terms. So 2 to the x divided by 3 to the x is really 2 thirds uh, to the x power using some exponent rules here. Now looking at this next one, uh, we do have that 4 raised to the negative x. And so what we're really doing here is looking at 1 over 4 to the x times 3 to the x if we were to fix that negative exponent first. So let's go ahead and keep working uh, using exponent rules here. We have the 2 thirds to the x, but now take a look at what we have in the bottom. We have 4 to the x times 3 to the x. So overall, that would be a 4 times 3 in the bottom raised to the x power. So that would be like a 12 raised to the x power in the bottom. Well, 12 in the bottom raised to the x power, really we could look at this as um, using our exponent rules, we could have the it written as 1 12th to the x power also. Okay. So either way you want to look at this, um, either way could be correct. We can either think about the bottom having a base bigger than 1, or we could think about the entire base of 1 12th being a base that's less than 1. So either way you want to look at it um, is fine on that particular term. So now let's take a look at this. Um, again, we are going to rely heavily on our graph. We have the graph there where the base b was greater than 1, but we've also got a graph um, where a b 
the base B would be less than 1. And so that case would look like this. Okay, This would be the graph of Y equals B to the X, where B is still going to be positive, but it's going to be less than 1. Okay, And so notice, as X goes to infinity for that case, we are looking at that arrow off to the right, but in this case, then, we are going to have, as x goes off to infinity, our graph is approaching zero. So now, back to our uh, limit that we're trying to compute here. Uh, the base for the first term is 2 thirds. Well, 2 thirds is less than 1, so we are in this decreasing uh, function um, so that would be approaching zero. So that two-thirds to the x as we go off to infinity would be the second graph we drew, meaning um, we would be looking at that right arrow approaching the horizontal asymptote there at zero. Okay. Now the second term here that we are subtracting, we can look at it in one of two ways. We could think about the bottom having a base uh, bigger than 1. So we could think about it as like a 1 over infinity looking up at the first graph that we drew because the bottom has a base bigger than 1 and so the bottom would be going off to infinity. Or we could be thinking about this as, well, the 0 like we've already assessed. We could be thinking about it as the entire base is 1 12th, 1 12th raised to the x power. We've got the base now smaller than um, 1, and so we would be looking at the second graph we drew. So the entire base of 1 12th would be less than 1, so that um, base less than 1 going or to the x power would then go to 0. Either way, we are looking at a 0 minus 0 situation so that our answer here is 0. So realize when you are using exponent rules, there are certain different places you can um, stop and compute what your limit is, keeping in mind that anytime you divide by infinity, that fraction is going to zero, or you can um, do what is probably the cleaner setup here, is always just uh, getting it as a series of some base to the um, power x, and then you've got addition and subtraction as the problem um, gives, but each one of those terms is some base b raised to the power of x, and then just depending on whether that base b is bigger than 1 or less than 1 um, tells you uh, each term whether it's going off to positive infinity or approaching 0.